Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. Cool opponent here. That's Ohm, that's Yasa Sarawan. So let's see what Yasa is up to. Going to test the Benko against him. Oh, Yasa, what are you doing? <laughs> you are this, you always call yourself a pawn grubber. So why don't you take the pawn? <laughs> okay. Of course, the B6 line is perfectly viable. I think it's just funny that uh, he does not want the pawn in the Benko when he always uh, emphasizes how much he likes to take uh, take pawns and hang on to them. Okay. Yeah, Yasa is, by the way, um, having the Dutch flag. He's living at least the largest uh, part of the year, I think, uh, still in the Netherlands. I've uh, played against Yasa's teams quite a bit over the years in the Dutch league, so seen him quite often in that competition. Never played him, unfortunately. Could have happened, but uh, never worked out. So, what's going on here? Knight to b6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, let's put it here. Hmm. I was thinking, this is an idea. I'm just trying to <laughs> trying to take the a5 pawn as usual i'm not the most subtle player ever but it works out quite often Yeah, that, that covers it. I can play, uh, play rook b4 though. Let's see if this is doing something good. At the end I can take, but he's got bishop d2, right? Ah. Anyway, I have to. Um, currently bishop d2 is not on. I'm, I'm on that. I'm on that square simply. If I take a5 though, he can take on c8 and then play bishop d2. Hmm. That costs material. I don't have to though. I can move this bishop. For example, I could play bishop b7. Which does attack a5. And the bishop looks weird there. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to admit that. Okay, and this is what I expected. So I take now. <clears throat> yeah, and now somehow this knight is sitting in the middle of my position. So, um, what what can I do here? This is not bad anyway. But what am I doing? If I can get this bishop around to b five, I would be in good shape. But I wonder if I can do that. The queen is going to play rook c1 here anyway. The other idea is to just move the e-pawn. Something like that. I would also love to move the queen away. Get this bishop around. But I don't have queen b8, I don't have, simply. 
Queen c7, rook c1. No good move. Hmm. Strange. Okay. It's kind of a non-move, but I didn't I didn't find anything good. This one. Aha, uh -huh. this is what he wants to do. Okay, come on, then let's that's I'm sacking this then. That was always an option, but uh, it didn't feel like I'm, 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 it's not what I wanted to do. It's kind of a last resort kind of thing. Time warning. E6, F5, or is he taking him? Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, if I take, he's taking with the B pawn, which is not nice. Hmm. A4 doesn't work. Okay. Well, he's doing a good job. He's playing quite quickly. Rook B3 is not so easy to meet. Check. Check. Ah, yeah, okay. G5 made. Now he did a good job there. Black resigns. I have to check this line again. I really don't think it is anything, but I keep getting bad positions. So, or let's say positions that are tough to handle. I don't think white is better here, and I don't think. But um, I keep getting, I have, I have problems still somehow. So this one, Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm better here, yeah, but but why and how? <laughs> Rook d4, okay. Hmm, computer is merciless. Wow. Wow. That's terrible. Yeah, like this. This is a really bad position for white. I'm sitting on that fantastic square, and his knight looks like a complete dummy. Wow. I had a feeling that something was off here, but rook d4, no. I was just okay with, with grabbing this. And e6 is the right solution. Yeah, I, I took took a long time here, and I kind of had the, had this feeling that this is right, but I couldn't quite bring myself to playing it because of his weird knight and the bishop now is doing stuff. This was what I was irritated me. The computer just takes him. Okay, here I'm, I can I can take because here I have enough counter play probably. Tough. That's not so easy to see for a human player. 
especially considering the knight is coming to that good square on c4. Uh, but, but that was probably the key, playing e6 here. I wanted here really hard to get the bishop to b5. If I manage that, I'm fine. <clears throat> but there was no way of doing it. This move, rook c1, I have no move. I have to go back, you know. He's threatening queen takes b4. Otherwise, that would be nice. Queen c7, rook b8, and then kind of you know, reroute this stuff. <clears throat> I have to go e6, just what it is. I didn't want to, but I have to. That's interesting. Yeah. I hear nothing. Still, this is nothing special for white, quite clearly. But um, e6 was stronger. Was really stronger. Yeah, bishop d7 was probably better. He was <clears throat> making quick, uh, quick moves, uh, uh, good moves quickly, <clears throat> and always kept the pressure on. <clears throat> Difficult for black here. Check. Yeah, wasn't happy to take, but. Queen c8, that's a computerish move. Yeah, my a pawn cannot do all that much. Check. Check. Yeah, maybe I had chances, I don't know. <clears throat> Hardly anybody Check. can play perfectly. Check. And here I'm already in a in a mating net, nothing to do. So e6, e6 was the thing. Hmm. Why do I still have space for logo in there? I replaced that. Why? Very strange. Anyway, ah, because of the analysis. Ah, I see. Here I changed it, but not in the analysis. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching.